Welcome back. Yesterday we finished the uh, aeral aileron. I have awful trouble saying that word. Um, so we finished the aileron, and uh, today we're going to have a uh, a challenge. Uh, I'm going to try and build the flap in what's left of the day. So I've spent the morning clearing up the workshop and uh, getting some parts out, having a look at the plans, deciding what I'm going to do. And uh, it's just gone one o'clock in the afternoon here now. And I'm just about to start work and I'm going to try and finish the uh, flap before midnight. <laughs> Hopefully a long time before midnight, but we'll see. So I'll show you the bits that we've got here. So I've put the skin next to the completed aileron. I said it right that time. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit too long, but actually it isn't because you've got to cut the end off at an angle. And in actual fact, the uh, skin is supplied as a 72 inch long section and the flap is indeed 72 inches long at its longest part so we don't actually need to, uh, to chop anything off the length of it just to shape the end and the end um, the cuts on the top and the bottom of the skin are slightly different um, so we're going to cut the top side first, then cut the bottom side, and then there's a notch to take out of the bottom side as well. On top of these, we've got the drive rib. That's three parts. There's the actual rib itself. Then the drive plate, which is a reinforcing plate. And then we've got a captive nut, which is going to be on the other side of that hole there and that's for the uh, flap drive to attach to and then we've got two intermediary ribs the end rib and then the hinge and that's pretty much everything we've got to do so the process here is going to be cut the ends. I've got to do it right first time because there is no second chance. Um, we're going to build up the uh, the drive rib um, and uh, and then it's uh, drill all the holes in the hinge. And at that point, we'll take stock and uh, start to mark, mark some lines on everything for drilling all the holes. There's a five millimeter gap between the end of the aileron and the flap, which we're going to maintain, and that's going to give us the registration for our hinge which is on the bottom side, because obviously the flap tilts down. So the hinge is on the bottom edge. So that's what we're going to do. And um, I shall start work on that now. So uh, the time is about 1.15 and um, I'll give you some timing updates as we go. See you in a minute. So a little time check. Um, it's taken us about an hour and a quarter to uh, to make the drive rib. Um, it's uh, taken a little bit longer than I anticipated because uh, I didn't realise I had to um, put all um, countersink rivets in. So uh, all the rivets are countersunk, so this side is flush. And then on the back is the captive nut for the drive to drive the flap. 
So there's the flat drive rib all put together. It's looking good. Um, now I am on to cutting the end off the skin. So back shortly. Just a quickie, I almost cut the wrong measurement on the end and that's because for some bizarre reason the drawing is actually upside down and I'm still trying to get it through my head how it's ended up being like that. Um, so I noticed that on the actual assembly instructions there's an arrow that says up pointing down and of course that's correct because the um, on the flap the hinge is on the bottom and then when you look at this one of course it's got nothing written on it so I've now written on it up pointing down and bottom and top so I don't get confused because these two measurements here are actually different and I was about to put the bottom measurement on the top which would not have been good because as I said before there's no spare on this one so you need to cut it right to start off with <laughs> so something to look out for if you haven't done this already um, not to mess it up and it does make sense because the top should be cut slightly more than the bottom because the wing is uh, obviously uh, in a dihedral, a very small dihedral configuration. So the, uh, the top skin will be shorter against the side of the uh, fuselage um, and the bottom skin should be the longer one. So there we go. Anyway, I'll now remark it and cut it. So I'm now going to cut the uh, the skin. I've remarked it in the right place this time, and going to use my trusty Dremel. And uh, it's a bit noisy, but here we go. First cut in, all looking good. So that's the uh, end of the skin cut at the angle. And um, I've spent some time with the file just filing it up and getting it absolutely spot on perfectly straight. I don't know why, because after I've put the uh, the rib in there, I'll probably do it again anyway. But um, So that's all done. So the next thing we're going to do is drill the hinge. Um, and I have a special quick way of marking and drilling the hinge, which I'll show you in a minute. So to drill the hinge... What I do, rather than marking out hundreds of little holes or markings and then drilling them only to find that I've uh, not got them nice and equally spaced and they're not all in line, 
because there are a lot of them what I do is cheat there's a piece of the fuselage which I use to basically drill through um, it's got the holes in exactly the right spacings and also the right distance in from the edge so I line it up with the end of my um, blank piece of hinge and the corner and I drill the first hole stick a Clico through it do the same at the other end of the uh, little piece of fuselage and then pop one in the middle to hold it all straight and then I just drill through it all the way along which means I can drill all these holes in five minutes or so and then I do the same again and the same again and you may be asking yourselves why has he got another piece of hinge attached to it well basically that's to try and keep it all straight it's much stronger when it's attached to another piece of hinge um, with the hinge pin through the middle of it just keeps the whole thing straight um, so that we try and get all the holes in line um, and that's the way I do it it means I can drill this in probably about 10 minutes or so anyway here we go and so there we go one completely drilled well almost completely drilled um, hinge um, in double quick time the only holes I haven't drilled are two that are on the second uh, hinge bit in um, I'm not sure what they're supposed to line up with um, but I'll drill them once I know exactly where the component that they're going into is okay onwards then uh, next thing to do is to get the ribs in position one at a time and uh, mark some lines down the outside of the skin to drill some holes well it's a bit later on now I've just had something to eat and uh, what's the latest coronavirus update from the UK um, and now I'm back in here again so uh, just before um, broke off to uh, have something to eat managed to get all the holes drilled or marked out and drilled pilot holes for the ribs um, in all three sides of the skin I've got one rib in there which I'm just lining up and then I shall be drilling through the skin into the rib and the way that I do that is I pre-mark the ribs I don't know whether you can see it get the light in the right place pre-mark the ribs with a score mark right the way down the center of the rib on all three sides and then I pop it in and uh, then push it backwards and forwards jiggle it about until I can see the line through all the holes and then I know that everything is straight and square so I shall get on with that I'm going to do this rib first the center one of the center ribs then the other center rib and then the end rib and then the drive rib and uh, get all those drilled and uh, silver clear coat in place and uh, it's 7 30 um, here at the moment uh, so far this afternoon I've spent about three and a half or four hours on the project so far um, probably about halfway there at the moment um, and uh, I'll keep you abreast of how we're getting on all ribs are in and they're drilled on uh, both the sloping surfaces but not drilled on the forward edge um, because once we've drilled those it will lock the um, skin
skin and ribs. Straight or crooked, depending on whether they're straight or crooked. So um, what I've done is I've got it supported at either end. I've leveled up both the, uh, the pieces of wood that I'm using. Um, so they are both um, absolutely uh, in line with each other. I'm using my trusty inclinometer. And um, now it's a question of uh, drilling the rest of the holes. So we've got the holes in the ribs to drill. And we've got uh, on, on this side anyway. And the holes for the uh, hinge. And the holes for the hinge will dictate the location of the um, flap in relationship to the wing and the aileron. So we've got to get that pretty spot on. So I've marked on the wing with a pencil two marks. Uh, the light is getting in the way of it, but you can see there's two pencil marks there. The right hand one is the end of the aileron and the uh, aileron rather, and the left hand one is where I need the f edge of the flap to be. Um, for it all to work out correctly. So uh, that's going to be my datum point. Um, and I've got to work out how to transfer that onto this. Well, it'll be the other end. And uh, no, it won't. It will be this end because it's upside down at the moment. This end um, and uh, onto the hinge. So that's my next job. So hopefully when you see me next time, I will have all the Clecos in and the hinge fitted. Well, here we are. The uh, holes are drilled in the rear, or the leading edge actually, of the uh, flap. And the hinge is drilled and attached hopefully in the right place so that uh, it ends up in the right place on the wing. I'm pretty uh, confident it is. It seems to be flat, which is good. And uh, so it just needs up drilling and um, deburring and riveting, all of which is going to take some more time. And at the moment, it's half past nine at night and uh, Katie's going to want to go to bed. And so she's not going to want me doing this. So unfortunately, I can't make this flap in one day it, or one afternoon and evening. Sorry. Uh, so it's going to have to wait for the rest of it um, until tomorrow. But uh, I haven't done too badly. Um, the aileron took, 50, or aileron took 15 hours in total. Uh, this stands me in at the moment at uh, probably about six, I would say, uh, without looking it up. So uh, six hours and, uh, and we're pretty much there. As I say, just need to up drill it for copper clecos strip it down, deburr it, and uh, rivet it. So another two or three hours should see it done. More tomorrow. All up drilled, deburred, and copper clecoed. Um, looking good. I've just re-leveled everything, made sure it's absolutely spot on perfect. And now it's time to uh, put some rivets in. I've just put a uh, an email into uh, Kerry at Sonics because I believe there's an error on one of the drawings. Um, it calls for the wrong length rivets for the hinge. Uh, it calls for CCP 
P41s and uh, I believe it should be 42. They're way too short. Anyway, let's start riveting. So there we go. One complete flap for the right hand wing sitting next to uh, the aileron. Aileron, sorry. <laughs> I'll never be able to say that. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it went together. Um, it's slightly proud on the top of the wing, which is uh, a bit uh, interesting but I've measured re-measured everything at this end and uh, it all seems good the height of the uh, flap is correct um, the hinge is in exactly the right place um, so I'm not really sure why that should be it doesn't show it like that on the uh, drawing mind you it is only like a millimeter but um, <laughs> that's me for you um so there we go one complete wing um so i suppose now we're going to have to find somewhere to put it whilst we make the other one so i set the task of um completing the flap in one go which uh, i started a bit too late at uh, sort of quarter past one uh, yesterday and uh, didn't quite make it but uh, done a couple more hours this morning and uh, here we are with uh, the completed flap in place the total build time for the flap was 10 hours um, which is a lot less than the uh, air alarm um and uh nice little project um looks good happy with it um and uh spotted a mistake on the drawings which is always good which i've emailed off to uh, kerry um i've checked up on the internet on the manufacturer's recommendations for rivets and the ccp 41 rivets that are called for on the uh on the drawing for the installation of the hinge um, should have been CCP 42s because uh, the thickness of the material is outside the uh, grip thickness for a CCP 41 rivet so there we go well I'm gonna to have to build the other wing now onwards and upwards